Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for March 2024 for the sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So, the picture shows a number of doors, but there is actually one opening. We have choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the in intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. That is your first message, Pisces. Let's pull you a spirit animal oracle card. What do we have for our lovely Pisces? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for March 2024. Message for Pisces for March 2024. There's the card. Nice, we have Dragonfly Spirit, number 22. Truth transcends illusion. I'm going to pull you a destiny card, Pisces. This is the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. So we have Diligence. So the picture is called the Fallow Field. There are times in life to step forward and take risks. But there are other times to be patient, step carefully and slowly, and know that the benefits you will gain in the future will be worth it. Be attentive, meticulous and persistent. Use this time to plan for action steps in the future. Be diligent and consistent at each, each step as you move forward. By doing so, you will harvest remarkable results in the years ahead. This is not the time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organization. Clean house. Clear clutter out of your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time and be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it. Clear out relationships that do not support you. Let's pull you a fortune card, Pisces, see what we have for you for the month of March 2024. We have number 22, Mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious. Mountain energy can be when we feel that we've got something to climb. It can be hard work, but there can be actually a great sense of achievement when we get to the summit. But sometimes when I get this card, it is kind of, I sometimes get the energy of, of, but do I want to? Is it like too much, like hard work? Do I want to overcome this, you know? Will I ever get to the top of it, you know? So we'll see what we get with that. Okay. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces for the month of March 2024. Message from Spirit. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Connected to heart, emotions, feelings. Very intuitive male or female with the Queen of Cups. This can be you, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Oh, and we have the Nine of Pentacles.
I mean, pentacles is what gives us stability and security, you know. Uh, they can be very good. And that seems to be a focus for you here with four cards, two of them is pentacles energy. So, I mean, it, the focus is on what brings you stability and security, growth, success, value, um, fulfillment. I think that you're, I mean, let's have a look at money areas and I'll see if I get something in terms of love romance. But uh, the Queen of Cups, somebody who is very much connected to your heart. I mean, Germany likes to be in an environment that brings you joy, that brings you happiness. I mean, you can see she's surrounded by, you know, natural jewels on that kind of, um, on that kind of like landscape. Um, very in touch with your heart, your emotions, your feelings as well, Pisces. Here's the, the energy in terms of money career. The five of pentacles can be. I don't like the way I'm made to feel. Not good enough, not valued, not appreciated, not worthy. Not paid what I should be. Sometimes passed over as well with the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles can be a card of lack, but it can be money, money wise. Um can be changes also in, for example, your working hours, your contract that leaves you with maybe less money as well. So this can be that kind of energy. It can sometimes be linked with loss, but I'm not really getting that. I mean, if it was to do with loss, there could be some kind of notice period as well. Uh, but I was getting more of the energy of the Five of Pentacles because the Queen of Cups is self-love first and foremost. And maybe you need to remind yourself of that because we sometimes lose sight of that with Five of Pentacles energy. Be really careful, Pisces. I really do want to say to you with this kind of energy, other people don't define you, you know. And it's hard because as human beings, we're social creatures and we always place a lot of emphasis in terms of what others, what others are doing and, you know, the outside world, you know. Whereas the Queen of Cups is connected within, you know, to self-love, you know, um, self-love first and foremost, remember who you are, because there can be this kind of situation where another person or people, uh, whether they, whether you're being labeled or whether you're being kind of like, um, you know, pigeonholed, I mean, whatever you want to call it, you know, the, the five of pentacles can be, I don't like the way you make me feel, not good enough, not valued, not appreciated. This is coming back to you. Queen of Cups knows who she is. You know, very, very spiritual energy, very intuitive. And you define you. Queen of Cups defines who she is, you know, self-love. Whatever that, Whatever others are defining you as, I know who I am. The Seven of Swords is, is, it can be actually quite, it is quite a diligent energy, uh, quite an astute energy, because the swords are all about truth. Um, and sometimes the truth makes us take action to do something in a covert manner. This can be a card of deception, but sometimes it suits us to be deceptive, especially if we don't want our current circumstances or our current company to know what we're doing. So I think that you are looking at options. Again, I'm just looking at those doors and um, I don't always focus too much on the image, but I just feel like there are kind of like pathways or doorways that you're exploring. Um, and it might well be, you know, this mountain, sometimes we put effort and time into, you know, conquering a situation that has made us feel like this can be that kind of energy. Doesn't mean the journey is necessarily easy, but when we get to the top of the mountain, we really feel that kind of sense, you know, of achievement and success. For others of you, it goes back to what I was saying before. If you're being made to feel lack in a situation and it's just too much like hard work and you're constantly feeling like it's an uphill struggle, you know, this can be, I'm putting a secret plan into action. This can be an exit strategy. It feels like an exit strategy. Uh, because the Seven of Swords doing something quietly because you're seeing the truth of the situation likely that your current place will never change or the fact that you intuitively know that there is going to be 
changes in employment, changes in contract, changes in working hours. There are levels to this because the Queen of Cups is extremely intuitive and knows maybe it's time to act. So the seven, however that manifests for you, seven of swords is, is quietly taking action, you know, maybe pursuing options, quietly putting some kind of secret plan into motion because it suits you. And you know, deep down intuitively, this is what I need to do. Here's the thing though, you know, the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles um, is a card of material success, abundance. It's, there's a real kind of personal achievement with the nine of pentacles as well. What you put time and energy into, you're getting the results from the efforts, you know, um, this is about reaping the fruits of your labor. If you're taking secret steps in a different direction here, um, the nine of pentacles can be very good in terms of standing on your own two feet in your own abundance and your own success. Um, so this could be potentially getting, you know, a different job, um, different employment, you know, uh, but there is a marked increase, as you can see, we go from lack to real abundance and material success. This is not just to do with money, the Nine of Pentacles, though it has a strong emphasis in terms of material success, abundance, financial success, you know, uh, reaping the fruits of your labor, achievement. Um, so this is a great card in terms of money, but it's also standing in your own self-value, self-worth, and getting to a, a place or position that you want to be or a place that you feel that you can really grow and thrive and, and embracing maybe a new uh, environment, could be a new company, you know, that will value and honor you in money terms, but also recognize your value in terms of what you're bringing. This is the energy here. So let's pull you, I think you're coming into, I mean, there's a strong sense of coming into your own this month because intuitively you know what you need to do, but also understanding other people don't define you. Situations do not define us. We just allow them to, you know, a lot of the time without, real, without realizing we give our energy to, you know, uh, this kind of thing. And I think this is about coming back to yourself, self-love. This is who I am. This is my own kind of value. I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of. And it's about manifesting that. I'm not really feeling anything in terms of, of, of other areas here, Pisces. Um, I mean, there could be a, a situation, again, five of pentacles can be lack. Yes, that can be in a relationship someone making you feel lack, uh, there's not enough in this relationship to keep me in it, or again, I don't like the way me f you make me feel by your actions, not good enough, not valued, not appreciated, or just realizing that something's not working for you. Uh, this can also, the five of pentacles can be linked with rejection, uh, you know, putting somebody out in the cold because of their actions, you know, so these energies, there's levels to this, but self-love first and foremost, the Seven of Swords can be when you know deep down, this is what I need to do and you're doing something quietly. We do that quite a lot um, if we're planning to set ourselves up to move in a different direction, but we're not telling the person that we're moving away from right now because you want to get everything into place first. I mean, that's the diligent energy. It might well be because something's become too much. You feel like it's an uphill struggle. I mean, that would be the energy here. But the lovely energy of the Nine of Pentacles is standing in your own abundance. It's a great card of independence in your own self-worth. Um, so this is what I'm seeing for you. But I was, I was just strongly getting more of a money thing for you. This will be in relationships. It can be sometimes when we choose to be on our own because we know you know, on our own, we value ourselves, you know, um, but, you know, and likely understand what you're looking for and what you're not looking for. So I'm going to choose from this deck. This is the guardian angel 
deck. I just like these cards. So we have prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. All right, so let's see what we have as a final message, Pisces. Final message for Pisces, thank you. This is the message from Heaven Deck, whatever that means to you. Um, so we have, intui your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help, number seven. And this is the energy that I'm talking about. You just know intuitively what you need to do. And there's something about a secret it feels like more of a secret plan or a secret exit strategy. You know, it just feels that kind of thing because it suits you, because you're seeing the truth of the situation and understanding where you need to make the changes. So, and there's a very abundant energy coming your way when you do. Nine of Pentacles uh, can be somebody, you know, living their best life, uh, can be on their own, uh, can be also, like I said, in money career. Focus your mind on what you really want. We are helping number 15. Yeah. Pisces, that's what I have for you as your messages from Spirit Reading for March 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.